Welcome to the Infogram DataViz Workshop Series, a collection of instructional pieces that show you how to turn your numbers into charts. I'll guide you through best practices with plenty of helpful tips along the way. This time we'll look at individual samples where you want to compare the different values. For example, who is the biggest achiever and who is the smallest achiever. But let's start with the simplest example first. Here are the results for the 400 meter dash from the last Olympics. Your data could be something very different, say the GDP per country or how many of each brand of mobile phones were sold last year. The important thing is that you're looking to compare things and the best chart you can use to compare values is a bar or column chart. Both bar and column charts will display the same data. The only difference is the orientation. Bar displays values horizontally and column displays values vertically. You'll find column looks more appropriate for things like money, whereas the bar will look better for rankings. Choose bar or column wisely. Depending on which axis contains the text or the longest descriptor, put those values on the horizontal axis. Let's say you'd like to compound different comparable data sets into one chart. For example, here's the results of the same runners in the 100, 200, and 400 meter dashes. Using a grouped bar or column chart, you can display it in groups, which allow you to put what would normally be several individual charts into one. So now you can compare athletes' multiple results over multiple events. Sometimes you want to show an accumulation that results in a negative. Here's the earnings for a company for the last four quarters. In Q2, there is a negative earnings result. When you insert a negative value into your sheet, Infogram will create a bar into the negative side of your chart. If you'll be using many negatives, use a column instead of a bar chart as your point will be much more striking. All right, now that we've seen how to visualize your comparative data, let's take a closer look at some of the pitfalls to watch out for and also how to best stylize it for the most impact. With bar or column charts, you'll find that outliers, that's to say one value that's much higher or much lower than all the others will cause you problems because it'll be obscured along the scale of the others. If the outlier is more than two or three times of the others, you'll find that the chart will lose its effectiveness. If you decide to create a chart with such a distant outlier, make sure to always show the value so that its relevance is not lost. Keep in mind that Infogram can automatically adjust the scales to best fit when switching between dataset tabs. So if you want to accurately point out the differences between the sets, turn on fixed grid in the settings. Make sure you don't set your column too narrow, otherwise your focus will be on the negative space and not the values you're trying to demonstrate. Also, always start your baseline at zero. But don't worry, Infogram automatically sets the optimal widths and baseline at zero. Don't worry about the order of value sizes for bar and column charts, although you can sort it if you'd like to. For color, avoid an alternate contrast or zebra type of color scheme. Infogram has color palettes ready to go that already look great straight off the bat. If you choose, you can also easily customize them yourself. For example, maybe the lightest to darkest if you prefer. Lastly, it can be a nice touch, especially in bar charts, to remove grid lines and settings to make the maximum visual impact for your story. So as you can see, even one of the most basic chart types of bar and column can be used in a variety of ways to show your comparative data findings. With Infogram's beautiful template styles and predefined color schemes, you only need to plug in your data and presto, publish it for web sharing and download. If you have any questions, reach out to our assistants and one of our data visualization experts will be happy to answer. Be sure to check out the other videos in our series.